Hi guys, I'm playing around with this laptop that I just got in for a few days to play with and it has a hybrid uh, laptop. So Intel graphics cards and um, Nvidia G4 GTX 670M. It's a rather old laptop but doesn't, um, doesn't matter really. And um, this video is about grub. This happened. I've got this... Um, can I try to oh my god come on yeah like this all right much better so we got this thing linux linux lts i press enter and you get this image and you sometimes you see people struggling with that loading linux lts vm linux linux lts not found well i always say analyze what did you do i know what i did <laughs> right and the second line here as well Let's play around with it a little bit longer. Same thing. What did I do? sudo pacman minus r linux lts. I removed the kernel. Grub wants to boot from something that's not there. How do we solve it? That's the point of the video. So let, let's put this tripod where it belongs, more or less here. Uh, uh, something like that. What we can always do is go with an E or a tab, depends on the Linux version, to grub. And you read. What I did install, I hope, <laughs> was the Linux kernel. So this, this echo thing is, well, is an important echo is text, right? So one line down, it says Linux boot VM Linux Linux LTS. So I'm going to look for my delete button. There it is. Delete, delete, delete. LTS needs to go. And down here is another one, and it points also to LTS. So delete, 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 delete. Then you check again if you missed anything. And down there, it says something, some other text here. Let's have a look at the text. Uh huh. Okay, you can read it from the phone. Control X or F10 to boot. So Control X or F10 to boot. That's what we remember. Oh, go up, my friend. Okay, like this. Um, control X, Control X. I'm still trying to load Linux LTS. The name, anyway, the name up here, it says Linux LTS because we did not change the echo thing. But who cares, right? And the only thing I forgot to do, who knows it? If you remove a kernel, Kernels make files in the boot folder. And after you do that, you run an update grub. It's an alias we have. And it's going to tell, or the, the application will check, hey, what kernels does this machine have? Uh, Vimix as well, the, the nice Vimix look is going to be there as well. So all of that is going to be fixed. But in the meantime, I'm always also trying to fix, well, to find out NVIDIA, how it works and all that. So that's why we get this blinking thing, like everybody says, NVIDIA, uh, everything is black, and then we have this cursor blinking up there. So we need to fix that as well. So Ctrl-Alt-F4. And like this. So I just don't want to make the video too long. Just the idea, if we made something and you forgot to update the grub, this is what you do. You update grub. You go in there and you update grub, right? How to install NVIDIA is for another video. As you can see, it will find things, well, wrong things as well. It'll, it still finds the Linux Zen. One of my tests of um, Pi... Arch Linux kernel manager, which will not include in the system. We can install it via yay. Probably can show you that as well, but let's not include it in the video. So hidden away is there a Linux Zen kernel that's actually not there. So I need to get rid of that, but uh, in a while I'll do a clean install. Play around with NVIDIA drivers some more. This is remembering, guys, grub doesn't load up it points to something else go edit it change it and you're up and running all right enjoy